Julie Lee Mavoyle, the 2012 State Teacher of the Year from Rhode Island. Thanks for joining us today as we read Ladybug Girl and the Bug Squad as part of Jumpstart's Read for the Record 2012. Now, sit back and enjoy, or read along, as we get started with this terrific story. Ladybug Girl and the Bug Squad by David Soman and Jackie Davis. I can't wait for everyone to get here, yells Lulu. It's the first official Bug Squad playdate, and Ladybug Girl knows it's going to be perfect. I know exactly the way I want everything to be, Lulu tells her mama. Well, her mama says, I hope it works out the way you want it to, Bugaboo. Just then, Sam comes bounding through the door. Bumblebee boy is here, he shouts. Next, Marley, dressed up as Dragonfly Girl, skips in with Kiki in her Butterfly Girl costume. Everyone twirls around and shows off their wings and capes. The Bug Squad is a team again, Lulu says. What should we play? asks Sam. Bug Squad, of course, says Lulu. Let's go to the Bug Squad base. They pass Lulu's brother on their way out. He doesn't like bugs, Lulu says. Lulu leads the group to a circle of tall pine trees in her yard. This is it, says Lulu. The low-hanging branches and the soft carpet of pine needles make the perfect hideout. I like it, says Sam. It smells good, says Marley. They set up their base. Bumblebee Boy and Dragonfly Girl zoom off to collect sticks to defend the bug squad from bad guys. Let's go pick flowers to make it pretty, says Butterfly Girl. Ladybug Girl says, bingo, stay here and guard the fort. When the base is ready, it looks even better than Lulu hoped. Now we need a password to get in our secret hideout, she tells the bug squad. And I know just what it should be. Ladybug Rainbow Unicorn, Sam wrinkles his nose. What about bingo for a password, suggests Marley. Yay, bingo, everyone yells. Lulu agrees that it is a good password. Now what should we do, asks Kiki. It's time to show off our powers, decides Lulu. I'll go first, says Marley. Dragonfly girl breathes fire so I can protect us. Swirling her flame around, Marley adds, and I can toast marshmallows. Sam steps forward. Bumblebee boy is as fast as lightning and will sting anyone who tries to get us. Did you know that Butterfly Girl has smart powers? Quizzes Kiki. Butterfly Girl knows that the sun is really a star. And I can spell elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. My turn, says Lulu. Ladybug Girl has lots of powers. I can fly, I'm super strong, I can save ants, and I can even do a cartwheel. Her try is a bit wobbly. Lulu leaps to her feet and says, Follow me, let's play. We can't touch the ground because it's hot lava. They safely cross over the lava, but now an army of giants bars their way. Luckily, they're asleep, and the bug squad carefully tiptoes past them. We made it, yells Lulu. This is the best playdate ever, she thinks, as she runs and jumps with Bingo and her friends. Everything is going just how she wanted it to. They're flying and laughing when Lulu's mama calls, It's painting time! At the picnic table, they find a pile of smooth rocks, a stack of paper, and jars filled with bright paint. Now it's time to make bug squad pictures, announces Lulu. Lulu, of course, paints her rock red with black polka dots. She's very pleased with how it turns out. Maybe it should even be in a museum. Kiki paints her rock purple. This is Pluto. Marley is painting a pretty dragon playing soccer. Sam is painting a picture of a robot fighting a giant squid. No one paints bug squad pictures except for Lulu. Hey, you guys were supposed to. Lulu starts, but then Mama comes over with a platter. It's filled with beautiful chocolate cupcakes. 
Mama sets the cupcakes on the table and lights the candles. Now, says Lulu, when I count to three, we all have to blow out our candles at the very same time. Lulu counts. One, two, three, and blows out her candle. Then she sees Kiki's candle still flickering. Lulu leans over and blows out Kiki's candle too. Lulu takes a big bite of her cupcake and notices that Kiki hasn't even picked hers up. What's wrong, Kiki? Lulu asks. You blew out my candle, Kiki shouts. But I was just trying to help you, explains Lulu. You didn't blow out your candle at the right time. I didn't have to do it your way. I was making a wish and you ruined everything, yells Kiki. Lulu's stomach feels funny. She didn't mean to hurt Kiki's feelings. She'd never want to do that in a million years. It's just that she was having so much fun that she didn't think twice when she blew out Kiki's candle. Lulu just wanted things to be the way she had imagined them. Now that she sees Kiki's upset, Lulu wants her friend to know how sorry she feels. But what if Kiki doesn't understand? Then Lulu remembers that Ladybug Girl never runs away when things get hard. Ladybug Girl knows what she must do. Ladybug Girl takes a deep breath and says, Kiki, I'm sorry I blew out your candle. Ladybug Girl adds, How about if we ask Mama to light yours again? Well... Okay, agrees Kiki. When the candle is lit, Ladybug Girl says, You can blow out your candle now, Kiki, and make a wish. I mean, if you want to. I do, says Butterfly Girl. Let's blow the candle out together. When they finish their cupcakes, they decide it's time for a very important, secret Bug Squad mission. There's a mean alien in the house, says Ladybug Girl, and we have to find out what he's up to. What a wonderful book. Thank you for joining us today and for reading along as part of Jumpstart's 2012 Read for the Record at wegivebooks.org. By reading with us today, you've helped to ensure that young people everywhere have equal chance to enter school with strong literacy skills they need to succeed.